Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are talking trash, <laughs> beauty trash. I have my empty products here that I've been saving. And yeah, we're just gonna get started and let's rock and roll. So first up, I have the Pureology really gross and has hair on it. This was a huge bottle, a one liter bottle of the Pure Volume Shampoo. And I do have the same conditioner or the matching conditioner that I'm still working on. I don't know why I finished the shampoo before conditioner. That usually never happens, but anyway. <laughs> this is kind of an expensive brand. I got it at the, C no, not the CCO, the Cosmoprof when I went with a friend who I was able to use her discount. So I got it for half off. So for that reason, it was a good price, but this in any other volume shampoo or product for that matter really dries my hair out. So the pros of the volumizing that it does doesn't really weigh out the cons of the dryness. So I just don't think I will get like volume products anymore because they just dry my hair out too much. But if you have one that works for you, if you have fine flat hair like myself, then comment below with that magical product. I would love to, to know what that is. Next I have the Noxema Sensitive Skin shave gel and I feel like I'm so repetitive in my empties because you'll notice that I go through a lot of the same products and those are like my most repurchased just great products that I don't want to be without so hopefully it's not too redundant but if any of you are new welcome you guys can hear me chirp for the first time about it but I really love this stuff and it has dimethicone in it. So dimethicone is that really silicone-y, like slippery feeling product. And what it means for shave gel is it just lets your razor get super, super close to the skin, therefore a closer shave. And I much prefer this over like a cream shave gel. I do order mine on, I think it's drugstore.com because I can't find this in stores. But yeah, I really love that and I have some backups. Something that you'll always see in my empties are the Kirkland facial towelettes. These are just the best that I've ever found so far as far as makeup removing wipes. They're super large, they're really thick and they're really saturated and they just take off the makeup really nicely. And yes, I have a box of backups of those. Next, I have these Ban cooling body cloths. And I probably have more of these in the bag here, but these are fantastic. I love these. These are basically like deodorant wipes. I don't know if they have a deodorant ingredient in them. Like you definitely need to apply deodorant after using these wipes, but they just keep you really fresh. And yeah, I have kind of pit issues. <laughs> you guys, if you are familiar with my channel, you guys know I have kind of pit issues. So my underarms are just very high maintenance poodle and they just take a lot of extra maintenance and fussing with. So these are fantastic. I use these all the time and I keep one in my purse as well. Another staple that you'll always see in my empties are the Cotton Clouds Cotton Facial Squares. I get these on Amazon, Amazon and they're fantastic. They're super soft. They're supposed to be the dupe for the Shiseido brand, which is a more expensive brand. And these are, these are great. I think I broke it down a couple empties ago where the price per square is like four cents cheaper than the cost of price per square of the Shiseido one. So you can't beat a four per square discount, right? Okay, so I used up some of these and I love these. I recently featured these in a favorites video and these are the V-Code Oxygen Eye Masks, eye mask for all night. And they're just like a jelly, a little jelly type mask that you leave on all night for eight hours and it continuously treats the under eye area and it just helped really like depuff and soothe my eyes and it's just an absolute treat for allergies you know when you have allergies they just get really puffy or when you're just really tired basically when you're just living life your eyes can get puffy and, and you know puffy under there so these are just so good for really depuffing and smoothing soothing and just I love these. I have a couple left in the pack that I currently have, but I would definitely repurchase these. Another one of those. And then more cotton rounds. These are the Swispers exfoliating, were these? Yeah, the exfoliating cotton rounds. These just have the little bit of nubby cotton on one side. And I love applying or using these in the morning with a cleansing water when I'm not really gonna scrub my face in the sink. I just want something to kind of refresh myself. I will go in with the like Sephora cleansing water and then this and then just kind of sloth off any dead extra dull skin that happened while sleeping and I really love those for that. Definitely have these on backup already. And then I have my Kenra volume spray number 25. This is my favorite holy grail super stronghold hairspray. This stuff will literally lock and lower your hair in place. 
you don't have to worry about it going anywhere and I really love this when I wear my hair up because I have baby hairs that are just they look like horns um so I really just plaster them down with this and it leaves them a little bit crunchy but not like super wet or crusted looking so I haven't found anything that does a great job of holding as good as this one and leaves my hair feeling or looking you know not super crunchy and nasty so I love that I need to repurchase it but I'm gonna hold off for a little while because I do have some other hairsprays to use up they're not my favorite I am gonna try to work through them though and then I will definitely repurchase this in the future and then nothing else for a stronghold hairspray unless I find something that I like better. Next I have the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. This is basically you use it after the shower, you turn off the shower and before you towel dry you put this all over. It's like a creamy oil, more of a cream than an oil but kind of that texture and it's supposed to lock in the moisture. It says locks in hydration at skin's peak moisture moment for luminous skin and I have mine in the calming green tea oil and I do believe it comes in a couple other like flavors or scents <laughs> and I like this but it's just a little bit more expensive than my favorite like body sesame body oil like the Neutrogena type brand or the up and up brand of the same version that I talk about all the time I feel like that just does the same job if not a little bit better and it's just more affordable and uh, I feel like this is getting a lot of hype but it's just not the most effective. You could definitely just use a body oil, like a shower oil, which which I do. So no, I probably wouldn't repurchase that unless it was like significantly on sale. And I have the Gold Bond Rough and Bumpy Skin Daily Therapy Cream. And this is not totally empty, it's almost gone, but, and I like it, but I have other lotions that I prefer. I got this for my KP, the Keratosis Polaris that I have on my arms. It didn't really do a good job. It didn't work. It didn't help with the KP at all. But I did like it just as far as like a body butter or a, you know, like a nice thick whipped body cream. It was very moisturizing and I liked it. But for the KP, which is what it's supposed to help with, it says effective for combating rough and bumpy skin on arms and legs, as well as extremely rough dry skin on elbows, knees, and heels. I don't think I would repurchase it, although like I said, I did enjoy it for just a really nice whipped body butter type moisturizing cream. And then I have my Lori, <laughs> Lori, Laura Mercier, Lori Mercier uh, Flawless Skin Face Polish. This is my favorite to date just amazing exfoliator for my dry skin. It is the most finely tiny little gritty particles. It is just like the best. Face polish is like a great word. I use this about once a week in the shower and I just exfoliate my face. It's super aggressive but super gentle at the same time. Some really aggressive exfoliants can kind of rip up your skin which you don't want uh, but this is just very like I said kind of gentle but aggressive at the same time and I love it and I might purchase a new one of these but I do have a similar product um, by the brand Kate Somerville that I need to open and try so I'm going to try to use that one first but I do think I will eventually repurchase this in the future and this was the 3 point or no the 6.8 ounces and this lasts me for probably a year and a half using it once a week maybe even maybe it even lasted longer than that I love it. Next I have a deodorant and I just gotta tell you I go through a ton of deodorants because I use it multiple times a day but I don't always put them all in here and I don't know why sometimes I just forget to talk about them or I think well maybe it's really not that beauty related so I'll throw it away in the actual trash before sharing it you feel but this one I actually really loved and it's not like the most aggressive as far as like smell and odor and well smell and odor is the same thing uh scent you know or keeping you dry it is a nice one but it's one that i have to use in conjunction and use sparingly with other ones because my body just gets used to it really easily but it's the dove ghost sleeveless soothing chamomile 48 hour protection and it smells really nice it smells really soft and it's just a nice pleasant scent. It's not too overpowering but I love this to keep in my purse because sometimes when I'm out and about running errands and I need to reapply deodorant because I just I have to reapply a lot. It's, it's really weird but this is a good one because it doesn't get the white stuff on your shirt so it's a good one for on the go because you can literally just like you know put it on real fast and you don't have to worry about it getting all over your clothes so I already repurchased one of these and I have one in my 
deodorant arsenal <laughs> as well as my purse so I love that one and then I have the Zenimed gentle cleansing cream and I really like this stuff it does a really great job of breaking down your makeup so a good for nighttime cleansing and also is very gentle and very soothing and really good for sensitive skin I probably wouldn't repurchase it anytime soon just because I have a lot of cleansers that I'm still working through but I definitely recommend it another Kirkland's towelettes and then another deodorant, which is, you'll always see in my empties, I feel like I say that all the time, but it's the Certain Dry AM Solid, and it says Morning Fresh Scent. I don't think they have any other scents, but it is just a really light, fresh scent, and it is a solid. Now, this can have a little bit of white, like white gunk if you get it on your shirt, like a black shirt, you can see it. I use this not necessarily just in the morning, but throughout the day whenever I need it and I love this. It does a good job of keeping me dry and also like the fresh scent is just, you can't ever smell funky with this. This is just probably my holy grail deodorant. Yes, I have a holy grail deodorant, I know, right? And then I have the Herbal Essence Dry Shampoo, the Herbal Essence Naked. This is pretty full. I actually might hang on to this and give it to my sister when I see her next. This just didn't do it for me and life is too short for a crappy dry shampoo. I feel like this didn't put any like, you know how when you spray a dry shampoo and it has a white cast, that's actually soaking up the oil and I can see it like adding volume and body and this just didn't have like a white cast. The smell wasn't that good to me and <laughs> life's too short for a crappy dry shampoo. I don't recommend it and you can definitely find a better drugstore dry shampoo for the same price uh, like the Batiste which I wonder if I have any of those in here. Probably. Another dry shampoo that's not a drugstore that is kind of expensive, but I love it. This is my holy grail non-drugstore dry shampoo. It's the Moroccan Oil Dry Shampoo for Dark Tones. It does spray on a little bit white, but it literally is invisible once you brush it out. Just such a great fresh scent. Really does absorb the oil, gives body, but doesn't leave your hair feeling like weighed down or gummy or product buildup. Love. Next, I have the Obagi Elastiderm Decollete Chest and Neck Wrinkle Reducing Lotion. This is a prescription strength skincare item, and obviously it's targeted for your neck and decollete. I didn't see any difference with this, and for the price, I wouldn't repurchase it. And this one is almost gone, but I'm just trying to really weed out. If you watch my bathroom declutter, I'm just trying to weed out stuff that I just don't use, and I don't see myself finishing just to make my life more streamlined. But this is the Suave Moroccan Infusion Dry Body Oil. I really did like this, and I used most of it, well, half of it, but I just have other oils that I like better that or other skincare or body products that I enjoy better. So I'm just going to toss what's left of that because I've had it for probably coming up on maybe a year and a half, two years. So it's about time to get rid of that one. Anyway, I do have the Batiste Dry Shampoo, the Cool and Crisp Fresh Scent, which I love the scent of that one. But my Holy Grail scent is the, it's like a fruity florally scent. So always will repurchase those. I have some more of those Ban Refresh, Total Refresh Cleansing uh, deodorant wipes. I have this Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion, and this is a number two like treatment product. I really do love this. I actually have a little bit left, but I got this back when I worked at Sephora years ago and got it as gratis. I didn't open it till recently, but it kind of does started to get like a funky smell to it, so I'm just gonna throw it out. But <laughs> Murad did send me a care package a couple months back with one of these in it so I am using a new one of these and I really do enjoy it. It's very satisfying on dry skin and it's good because you get the treatment but it's not going to dry out your skin like some treatments can. And then I think from the same line, the Age Reform, li Age Reform line, this is the Murad Perfecting Day Cream SPF 30. I love this stuff and I think I do have one of these as a backup but I'm currently using something else so I definitely recommend, recommend that. I have another Ban Total Refresh Wipes. I told you guys I go through those like crazy and then I have this Kenra Platinum Body Body what? Bodifying is that even a word conditioner? So it's the ultimate volume conditioner. Same thing as I talked about with the other shampoo that I showed earlier. It's just it's good. It smells really good. It's great, but it's just a little bit too drying for my hair. So I wouldn't repurchase that. Like I said, I probably 
I'm gonna stay away from any volumizing shampoo and conditioning products. And then I have the CND Solar Oil Nail and Cuticle Conditioner. I love this stuff. It smells like sweet almond oil. Ugh, it smells like baked goods. It's so delicious. This thing is expensive. I can't remember how much it was, but I did get it at the Cosmo Prof with a girlfriend years ago, and it took me a couple years to go through, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it because I just like an essential, essential E, like vitamin E oil that you can get for much more affordable. So loved it, but won't repurchase it just because you can get the same thing cheaper. I really love this next product. I'm kind of sad to be out of it. It is the Strivectin Intensive Illuminating Serum. It, it was a really great illuminating serum. And they did send this to me a while ago and I just recently finished it up. So I probably wouldn't repurchase it because it's so expensive and I just don't need another serum right now because I do have other ones on backup. But if you're looking for a really great skincare and you have dry skin and you're looking for to kind of plump up any dull lackluster skin, I would definitely recommend this one. Next I have the Dermarest Psoriasis Medicated Shampoo Plus Conditioner. And it says removes and controls scalp buildup, relieves scalp itch, restores moisture, comforts irritated skin, and it does have salicylic acid 3% in it. And I don't have psoriasis on my scalp, but I do suffer from, I don't suffer from it, but I do have dry, itchy scalp, especially in the winter where it's cold. I live in South Dakota. So, you know, itchy, kind of itchy skin, it, itchy scalp, itchy life. <laughs> from the cold. <laughs> so I use this maybe two to three times a month and I really liked it. I feel like it did help soothe my soothe my uh, dry itchy scalp and I like it. I have one that I'm using from a different brand, kind of a similar type product that I'm using right now, but I would definitely recommend this and repurchase it in the future. And then I have the Derma Doctor KP Duty Moisturizing Therapy. It says Dermatologist Moisturizing Therapy for Dry Skin. And this was like a deluxe or travel size product that was I think $12 so I thought I would give it a try but in general this brand or this product is a little bit more expensive and I thought or it was supposed to help with my KP my keratosis pluris but it just didn't it was very satisfying and very moisturizing but not greasy so I would probably repurchase this actually I might repurchase this in the VIB sale because it was very satisfying on my dry like hands my cracked hands but it definitely did not help with my KP which unfortunately I haven't found anything that helps with that that is not a prescription so yeah and then I have a Murad Essential C Night Moisture I love this stuff this is going to be great for anybody who wants some brighten lightening and tightening of their skin brighten lighten and tighten that's what the vitamin C is going to do it's like the BLT of skincare so it will brighten lighten and tighten which is kind of fun to say so I definitely recommend it for any of y'all who want to brighten, lighten, and tighten. <laughs> and I won't repurchase it right now because I have some other night creams that I've been loving, but I, I would, like when I run out, when I ever run out, I would repurchase it down the road. Another Murad product. This is my Holy Grail high-end eye cream. It's the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture for Eyes. It's just a really nice, fluffy, super soothing, just luxurious, cream that I use an eye cream and a little bit goes a long way so it is a little bit more expensive but it does last a really long time. Perfect for anybody who has really dry under eyes and just wants something to help their concealer and their makeup go on better. Love that. Couple more items and we're almost done. So I'm really sad about this one because it's not empty yet but it is too old and this was or this is the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. This is like a really gel more of like a gel cream type formula and it just sinks into the skin so well. It's a great one before makeup because it does sink in so fast. But unfortunately I lost it and I found it late, too later in life and it, I think it has expired or I'm not even going to mess with it because you don't want to put on something that's potentially expired on your face, especially on your eye area. So I am going to be taking that back to MAC. I'm actually really excited, side note, but I'm going to Mall of America in a couple weeks and I'm gonna go to the Mac Pro store, so I will be back into Mac. I haven't been to a Mac store in like two years, so I'm super excited. <laughs> Last, I have the Formula X for Sephora. This was just the top coat nail polish. There's a little bit left, but it's just too gummy and gunky, but I really do love this stuff. I think it's a great top coat. Dries really fast, a super thick, glossy, like gel-like nail 
appearance is what you get with this and it did get goopy towards the end but not as bad as like the Sesh Beat which I also love but you guys know if you've used it you only get to use a half of the bottle before it gets gummy and just yucky but this one you were able to use like three-fourths of it and then it did kind of get a little gummy and dried out and not easy to work with so I'm gonna throw that one out but I would definitely repurchase that and I'm actually in the market for a new top coat Super fast drying, something that's really shiny and glossy. Leave your favorites below because I will definitely be checking those out. Okay, so those are my empties. I feel like I went by or went through these super quick. We'll have to see. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if any of these that I used up, my beauty trash, are your favorites. Or if you're interested in trying any of them out. And leave your empties, what products you've recently finished up down below. And let me know how you were liking those. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Have a great day or night. I'll see you later. Bye.